Oklahoma. It's a whole lot of flooding going on, but stay calm, stay cool, but be aware. And the heat's on here. Well, we've certainly seen quite a shift happening in our weather for so many locations across the country. So it's going to be rather active here for the next couple of days. And it seems like this pattern has been repeating itself. We've had so much rain in May as a whole, so last month, over 15 inches in Austin. And some stormy times also setting up for portions of the mid-Atlantic, as well as extending up into the Ohio Valley. Well, we have flash flood watches out across Texas. These will continue through at least Thursday and in some cases through Friday morning. So far, 31 counties have been declared a state of disaster across the Lone Star State. You know, it's not just Texas that's experiencing flooding. If you go over to Europe, France, Germany, and Belgium are dealing with some extremely serious flooding. I mean, you can see the streets have just turned into rivers. This homestead that's barely above water is now home to horses crowding onto the front porch. I mean, there is more rain in the forecast. This is a nasty system that has been parked over the state for the better part of the week, and more rain is coming. This is space. There's space all over the place. This is a Thor News pre presentation. Thor News presents. All right, we've still got the Brazos River at record levels. Texas is now in a state of disaster in 31 counties. And in the last few days, we've seen France, Germany, Belgium, Austin, Houston, and India have major flooding problems. Wow, it's really creepy that France, Germany, Belgium, Texas, Kansas, and India have had major flooding problems. And not only that, it is forecast to rain through Texas through Sunday. So at this point, I'm really going to need everybody to be cool, stay cool, keep your eye on the weather, stay aware, be prepared. And if you're in any place where it rains, sometimes uh, maybe an extra week or two of groceries wouldn't be bad, man. This is one of the weirdest weather patterns I've ever seen. And so why take chances until it calms down? So I'm going to need everybody to unite and work together on this one. So I've said many times on my channel that I feared we were going to see cities underwater soon, probably within the next three to five years. And we are getting dangerously close to my prediction being true. So as this system slides east, here we go again, more heavy rain and thunderstorms. It's going to be another very unsettled day across the south central. Our concern for flooding across the state of Texas continues this morning. Look at the scope of the flash flood watches from the Rio Grande Valley in the south, right along the Red River in the north, including Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, and Corpus Christi. And, uh, you know, different parts of Texas have been dealing with different types of flooding. Over the last couple of days, we've had flash flooding. That's what you see here in Lubbock. Um, we've had some river flooding that's been going on in parts of east and southeast Texas. Heavy rain yesterday was falling at a rate of up to three inches per hour. There have been hundreds of water rescues. We still have a few days to go of this heavy rain. As we go through this week, here's our problem. Dark green shading is where we're going to have widespread flooding. Here's the problem. See this little spin? on the water vapor imagery, well, that's our area of upper level low pressure. And it's been inching, folks, its way eastward here over the last couple of days. And the problem is it's slowing down to basically being stopped. So as this area of low pressure stalls out, we'll continue to see that counterclockwise flow around it. And that means the flow comes in off the Gulf of Mexico. And so this system is just parked over the state. A lot of moisture comes in, and that tends to add to the problem. Slow moving system colliding with the Gulf moisture. And that is helping to saturate the atmosphere. You can see just the entire state. Look at this. Notice the slow moving. It's not moving at all. That's the concern. A lot of the creeks have already risen to flood levels. Well, this is going to continue to add that insult to injury as we head towards the latter half of the week. I and mean, this is not far from Houston, kind of on the west side of town, Rosenberg, Texas, the Brazos River, up around record levels. In fact, it's at record level, and it's uh, going to stay kind of steady over the next couple of days. There's also a front coming down from the north. So a lot of lifting mechanisms coming into play. It all spells torrential rainfall. That could cause some road closures, and locally, some spots could get up to a foot of rain. And as we head towards Friday, that aerial pressure is just going to sit over Texas, providing, again, the instability and the ignition for more thunderstorms to just continue to develop here across the Lone Star State. Uh, how about this? On the France-Belgium border, more than a month's worth of rain fell in about 24 hours. And in the last week, southern Germany has seen more than 400 percent of its average rainfall. You've got dozens of villages underwater. Uh, the floodwaters have trapped hundreds of people in their cars. Uh, emergency crews have been called out thousands of times. I mean, the numbers just go on. Hundreds of evacuations. And here's the deal. The flooding has been blamed on this one weather system that's just been really slow moving and sitting right over the area. Notice another area spin here uh, across uh, North Dakota and Minnesota. That's shoving a front. Uh, there you can see what's left of Bonnie, our post-tropical cyclone. Still bringing us some heavy downpours uh, to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. But we're also going to be focusing in on even more extreme heat building in for the majority of the West, not just chunks of the West, but the majority of the West. Well, out West, a blistering heat. Look at the West. Highs 20 to 30 degrees above average.
and temperatures today uh, near record territory in the Central Valley of California in the triple digits. Friday, forget it. It's going to be a sticky, nasty hair day for folks out there. Notice, though, now the dip in the jet stream. This is uh, going to bring us a vigorous front. Here is that big old dip. Then. Because we have another push of moisture that moves in on Sunday, and some of this rain could be heavy and some storms strong. Sunday, a big change in the weather, turning cooler and wetter. Look at the eastern third of the country, very soggy. South central Texas, still very soggy. Looks like that pattern will continue into next week. Let's give Ari some props. He's telling it like it is. He's punching you in the face with some weather truth. Hey, and by the way, that's a really bad idea. If you ever try to drive through water, I, I'm telling you, man, it's like having a death wish. It's one of the easiest things you can do to have the weather kill you. Seriously. Turn around. Don't drown. So to all my friends and people in Houston, Austin, San Antonio, please get out if it starts to look too dangerous. Because predictions can go one way or the other. They can predict a major storm and it's tiny. Nothing happens. They could predict a major storm and it's still like five times worse than they predicted. And there are a lot of strange factors going on. So, nobody knows. Okay, check out this super mad curly Q here that is heading towards the constant area of low pressure that's been around Greenland for about two years. I think it's been the main driver in all this weird weather. Now, on this camera, the brown represents pretty thick, precipitable water. And I think that means water that wants to participate. And so if we watch here, watch how much of the Gulf of Mexico moisture is just being pulled straight up through Texas, causing a ton of problems. And that's the real danger here is that, that there's a lot of precipitable water and, um, water vapor around the equator line and so that is getting siphoned up in through texas oklahoma in the middle of america this could cause some major problems from now through sunday thank you we might have a tropical storm forming here in early june in the gulf of mexico so texas your problems are pounding fast man it's like this has a little bit of everything man versus man man versus nature man versus self man versus technology and man versus volcano i guess that's nature we had tornadoes in Colorado and residents along the Brazos River, Texas, were forced from their homes as water continued to rise on May 31st. Miles of roadways were closed due to flooding. The river was expected to crest at 53.5 feet. Well, God bless everybody. These are strange days indeed. And um, just from, from the projections, I mean, look at the estimated precipitation charts from the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of June. Like, that's half America, bro. This is from, like, today, tomorrow. Half America's in the green. And like I said, Germany, France, Belgium, India, Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma... It's a whole lot of flooding going on, but stay calm, stay cool, but be aware. All right. Here's the deal. More on and off showers over the next couple of days. And to the people out there who hate Texas, grow up. Don't let the mainstream media convince you that Rick Perry stands and represents all Texans. Texas is one of the most diverse states in all of America. We've got Austin to Houston, Fort Worth, Dallas, and we're all part of the Earth family. Christian, Muslim, gay, straight, Republican, Democrat. PlayStation 4, Xbox, male, female, we are all part of the Earth family. And if we don't start to come together soon, we're going to get our asses kicked and a lot of us are going to drown. Germany, France, Belgium, India, Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma. It's a whole lot of flooding going on, but stay calm, stay cool, but be aware. And the heat's on here. Well, we've certainly seen quite a shift happening in our weather for so many locations across the country. So it's going to be rather active here for the next couple of days. And it seems like this pattern has been repeating itself. We've had so much rain in May as a whole. So last month, over 15 inches in Austin. And some stormy times also setting up for portions of the Mid-Atlantic, as well as extending up into the Ohio Valley. Well, we have flash flood watches out across Texas. These will continue through at least Thursday and in some cases through Friday morning. So far, 31 counties have been declared a state of disaster across the Lone Star State. You know, it's not just Texas that's experiencing flooding. If you go over to Europe, France, Germany, and Belgium are dealing with some extremely serious flooding. I mean, you can see the streets have just turned into rivers. This homestead that's barely above water is now home to horses crowding onto the front porch. I mean, there is more rain in the forecast. This is a nasty system that has been parked over the state for the better part of the week, and more rain is coming. This is space. There's space all over the place. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right, we've still got the Brazos River at record 